Have I read it? No? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with another book outlet haul because I live super close to the warehouse and whenever I go make the trip down there I uh, always get a little bit ridiculous with my book buying so without further ado let us get started. <sighs> so the first book I have I'm actually so excited about because now I own all of her books except for her two new releases but they're like $30 and your girl is cheap so she's waiting till they're not $30 but it is Collateral by Ellen Hopkins. This one follows a girl who never expected to be a marine wife and then she meets Cole. Cole desperately wants to marry Ashley but then Ashley ends up meeting another man, a college professor, and she realizes that maybe she doesn't want to be a military wife after all. I personally love Ellen Hopkins and her writing. I just think it's like super unique and cool the way that she writes her stories. I now own them all except for the two that I don't have. But that's fine. The next book that I have is actually the sequel to a book that I hauled pretty recently but it's called Sleeping Freshmen Never Lie or something like that. But this one is Sophomores and Other Oxymorons by David Lumbar and I'm assuming the kid made it through freshman year and now he's a sophomore so he's writing more tips and tricks to his little brother or sister because I haven't read the book yet so I don't know what it is. Basically the first book he wrote tips and tricks for his unborn sibling to survive freshman year so now sophomore year you know I'm assuming it's just a repeat of the same thing but I'm assuming it's funny so that's why I bought it the next book I have is actually the third book in the series I thought it was the second book it's not it's fine I'm fine I have the first book don't have the second book but it is the last echo by Kimberly Durting so this is the third book for the body finder trilogy hopefully we can find the second book sometime in my lifetime, but as of right now, I only have the first and third book because I'm a dinkus. The next book I'm actually pretty excited about because it was super popular when it first came out on booktube, which I don't know when that was, a couple of years ago, but it's Burning Glass by Catherine Purdy. And I've never heard anything bad about this book. Haven't really heard great things about it, more like it's average, but I'm still excited to have a copy. I believe that it is fantasy, but that's pretty much all I know about it. I don't know what kind of fantasy. I know that there's like a princess and like she can do magical shit. That's all I got for you. The next book I have is a second book in the series. I own the first and the third. So I finally have the complete set so I can binge it but it is The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon and this is the second book for the Bone Season. The Bone Season trilogy. So now I have the whole thing, like I said, and we gonna binge it and it's gonna be fabulous, hopefully. The next book is a little bit uh, Scratch and Dent, which is where I got it from, but that's fine because I was looking for it during the Black Friday sale that Book Outlet had, which is why I made the trip down because I had to pick up my order which will be another video but we hit up the scratch and dent section and this book is just fucked up but I was looking for it, it wasn't on the website said they didn't have it then I found it so I was like it's fate I don't care if it's messed up but it is uh solitary escape from the furnace number two so as you can see it's a, it's a little bit uh bent but you know it's fine I was looking for it we found it. I have the first and the third book, so I was like, we need the second book so it doesn't look stupid on my shelf because it has the spine number. So it's like 1-3, and that bothers me because that's the way I am. But I've heard, like, pretty good things about this series. Like, people say it's pretty underrated, so... I mean, I'm excited to get to it if I ever do because knowing me takes me forever. The next book that I have is also the second in a series but it is Dance of the Red Death. This is the sequel to Mask of the Red Death and this is by Bethany Griffin. All I know about it is that it's uh, paranormal but I also really like the cover because it's purple. The next two books I'm an idiot because they're the second and fifth books in two different series but you know I just I recognized one of the authors. The first book of this mess up of J.N. was uh, Dare You by Jennifer Brown. I love Jennifer Brown. She wrote A Hate List and I just loved that book so much. So I saw her name and I was like, need it. Did I uh, check if it was 
the first book in the series? No. The hint should have been when it says a shade me novel, which this is not called shade me, so obviously the first book, but it's fine, Jan. It's fine. The synopsis sounds super exciting anyways. It follows these two sisters who have the ability to see colors and then using this cognitive ability the one sister Nikki somehow discovers that her half sister is like blackmailing her entire family and it's her trying to be like yo don't do that bitch like that's not cool and them like fighting and all this shit and I'm just like excited for it but I have to find the first book shade me before I can read the second book so we're gonna hit up Amazon I think it's like $11 or something so we're probably not gonna buy it because your girl cheap and she's just gonna hope that it's on book outlet for cheaper one day. It's fine, I'm an idiot. And then the next book in my little debacle of shame is uh, Before by Anna Todd. I thought this was the second book because you know after Before it makes sense for this to be the second. No, it's the fifth, so. I mean, I haven't read After but I own it. So I was like, oh cool, sequel, no. So there's three other books that I'll have to try to find someday. I'm an idiot. That's all I'm gonna say. The next book I have heard like mixed things about, but I saw it, I recognized it, I was like, it's two dollars, we're gonna buy it. But it is Girl Against the Universe by Paula Stokes, and this is like a mental health book. I like mental health books, so I'm here for it. And then the final book actually sounds really cool when I read the synopsis, which is why I bought it, because I've never seen it in my life before, but it is Indelible by Adelia Saunders. It follows a girl that when she looks at you, it, she can see your like fate tattooed on your body and then she meets a boy named Neil and her name is actually on his cheek and it's like their story so I don't know I thought it sounded kind of cool I'm into it so I'm excited all right guys so that was my little haul video for this time around let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in my next video goodbye